What's going on everybody? Jim Johnson here for another episode of Dr. Johnson's Trumpet Playlogs. Today's video we are going to be talking about articulation. Articulation on the trumpet really focuses on having clean starts to the note. Sometimes we refer to it as the front of the note. In order to do that we have to use certain two-letter syllables to help the tongue do what it needs to do in the mouth to help create those clean fronts. Now, not to get too complicated with human anatomy, but you have a muscle in your mouth. It's called your tongue. The tongue will touch the top row of teeth to create clean starts to notes. We normally use uh, certain two-letter syllables, normally the two syllable and the do syllable. Working on these every day is super important to help create consistent clean starts to all of your notes. The great thing about articulation practice is that you don't really need to have the trumpet with you to practice it. All you need to do is practice speaking the syllables as clearly as possible. So we're going to practice. I'm going to say it and then you say it back. Two, 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 two so on and so forth. I can't actually hear you, this is all pre-recorded, but hopefully you participated in that little experiment. You can do this anywhere. In the shower, walk in the halls between your classes, at the grocery store, while you're waiting in line for the new PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series 1X, your choice, I'm not gonna judge which one you pick, PlayStation, anywhere. Then, when you get to the actual instrument, you're just gonna speak those syllables in the mouthpiece. There's no secret formula here. You are going to just simply repeat those syllables into the cup of the mouthpiece to create those clean fronts on the instrument. Now, when working on these, a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, always concentrate on good airflow. Just because we're concentrating on articulation doesn't mean that we can't have air support behind it. Remember, articulation deals with the start of the note, not the whole note. Second thing, as clear and as articulate as possible. Think of taking a speech class or you're giving a speech in front of your friends. You want to make sure you're not mumbling. You want to make sure what you're saying is as clear to your listeners as possible. And number three, you want to make sure that the syllable you say is the exact same every single time. Because every note that you play that involves playing with an articulation should sound exactly the same. Oftentimes, when we're talking about articulation, some people will refer to it as attacks. And for me, that's not really the best word I would use to describe it. Mostly because when somebody says attacks, I tend to duck and cover. And that's, you know, not really anything we need right now. My mindset when I'm working on articulation is that the tongue, when it touches the back of the teeth, is releasing the air into the instrument. And I find that that sort of mental image allows me to have a more accurate representation of what articulation is. Before we get to the exercises, always remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's go ahead and get started.
All right, so to recap, we want to make sure that we still use slurred air when playing articulation exercises. Remember, articulation involves the start or the front of the note, but doesn't actually focus on the duration of the note. That's where the air comes into play. We want to make sure each syllable is as clear as possible, and we want to make sure that we are as consistent as possible when using the same syllable on repeat for rep repeated passages. That's today's video. Remember, like it and subscribe to the channel.